a leader, a father, one of your very own. And now, God, we ask you to lead every spirit in this room, lead every heart and guide our minds to reflect on all the glory you have manifested in your son. Lord, give us joy tonight for our sadness. Give us memories, O oh God, that we shall rejoice and be glad about. Let us remember the great man, the great son, the great father who is represented tonight. Father, we ask you to do what only you can do. We ask you to do it in the name of your son who is our Christ Jesus. Amen. Come on, praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. When you know God, you demonstrate him. Come on, give this Hallelujah. mighty God a mighty praise. Amen. Give this Hallelujah. big God a big praise. Amen. I know that we're here during a difficult time, but I know that he will turn our mourning into dancing. Amen. Amen. So I want to invite you to stand to your feet as we serve the Lord with praise and worship. Amen. Amen. Oh, come on, let's give this mighty God a mighty praise. Hallelujah.
mighty God. Great and mighty are you, Lord. Hey, you are full of power, mighty God. Great and mighty are you, Lord. Come on, he's great and mighty. If he's been great in your life, I need you to give him some praise. Oh, hallelujah, we worship you this evening, Lord God. Despite the circumstance, despite the reason why we have gathered, we will still give your name praise. You are worthy, oh, you're worthy, Lord. You are great, you are mighty, you are wonderful, Lord. You know the plans you have for me, so we sing. You are great, you are great, and greatly to be praised. Oh, what a kind God we serve, amen. What an awesome God we serve. What a wondrous God we serve. Come on, lift up your voices and just worship Him. Worship Him, worship Him. Come on, open up your mouths and worship Him. Lift up your voices and worship Him. Worship Him, worship Him. Worship Him. What an awesome God we serve amen. also, amen. Holy are you, Lord, all creation calls you God. Help me say, worthy is your name. You're an awesome God, how great thou art, you are God, say, you are God, the mighty are your your hands right here. We stand in awe.
just so simple say hallelujah 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 anyhow hallelujah anyhow we give you we give you praise to trust him to praise him is to trust him the bible says in psalm 125 that they who trust in the lord are like mount zion which cannot be moved amen and just as the mountains surround jerusalem so does the lord surround you and that is my prayer for you this evening that although you have suffered a loss, although that this is a very difficult time, may the Lord God surround Amen. you so long as you trust him. Amen. Amen. And that can be sparked through our worship. So if we can all together in the building, just sing this one last time. Let's just worship him together. Come on, open up your mouths and say, magnify his holy name we lift his name on high and on that note on behalf of the family of Toyo I welcome you tonight to this service of song the celebration of life welcome welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you can have your seat majestically in his presence hallelujah you can have your seat have your seat in the presence of the almighty God God is good. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. I'm so excited because he was born in 1920 and he died in 1922. One and around two years. I want to be like him. I don't know about you. So I did not come with my handkerchief to come and cry tonight. I come to celebrate the goodness of God. 
Because it can only be the goodness of God. Some did not make their first year. Some did not make their second year. Some did not make their third year. But see the goodness of God. Hallelujah. I want you to clap your hand in, time, in spite of your mourning or your sadness or whatever is going on. This is the goodness of God. This is the goodness of God. I hope you are praying like me. I'm praying to be like him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Welcome. We are going to take our first hymn tonight. If the choirs are ready. The first hymn. There's no indication. The second hymn. The first hymn. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. You want to come up? One person coming up? or So we can join you. Can we clap for the choir as they come in? we all rise. Majestically before the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. On behalf of Dominion Christ Chapel, I also welcome you. Some of you might be wondering, where are we? Which church is this? This is Dominion Christ Chapel. By God's grace, I happen to be the pastor here. To the glory of the Almighty God. 
And if you live around here or you are close here, please come and join us as we celebrate the goodness of the Almighty God. I welcome you again in the mighty name of Jesus. Without much I do, if you can with clap, welcome Rachel Odumo to come and give us the first Bible reading. We believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You are not in the celebration mode yet. Hallelujah. Aha. We are here to celebrate the goodness of God. It's painful to lose a loved one, no doubt. But what I'm seeing here is the goodness of God, the grace of God, the power of God, the mercy of God that make man to come onto this earth and be able to reproduce. Not only reproduce, to live long, in good health, some mind. That's what I call the goodness of God. Some were born, they can walk. Some were born, they can hear, some can talk, some are deaf. So when you have the opportunity to be whole, celebrate the goodness of God. So join us as we celebrate our Father Reverend Jackson tonight. And we are celebrating God and make it possible for him. There are so many children, so many grandchildren, great grandchildren. Hallelujah. There is no goodness more than that. Hallelujah. I'm excited because I want to be like him. So if you want to be like him, say let your amen be what? Louder. <clears throat> you don't have to take him to the nursing home. He doesn't have to be cared for by a strange person. Not at all. Not at all. How, how wonderful is that? Auntie Ruth, I'm sorry, oh. But I want to be like your dad. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome the choir again for the second hymn. Choir for the second hymn. Can we clap for the choir? Have they been doing wonderful? Yes. Hallelujah.
Because you are here to celebrate with somebody tonight, our proclamation unto you in the name of Jesus Christ, that it is well with your soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever it is, it might be mountain, it might be valley, it doesn't matter how deep or how wide it is. It doesn't matter how high, because you are in the presence of God to celebrate with somebody who is mourning this evening. I pray in the name of Jesus, it will be well with your soul. It will be well with your soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will be well with your soul. It doesn't matter the sorrow, the sadness, or whatever it is. Almighty God, we extend his power, his hands upon you, and it will be well with you. In the name of Jesus, we clap offering. Let's welcome Demison Odumo to the podium. just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? 
For if, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been re- re- reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Hallelujah. 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 There's an assurance from the Bible already. Somebody already died so that me and you can live forever. The intent of that Bible reading is to appeal to me and you that watch your step. Watch your step. Watch how you are stepping. Because there's an opportunity for me and you to live forever. Because somebody already paid the price. That is what is demonstrated by his love. That where we are yet sinners, he died for me and you. As you reflect, as you celebrate together tonight, I want that Bible verse to reflect or for you to reflect on it. That where will I spend my eternity? Where will I spend? I have no doubt where the Lord will be. But where will we be? Where will we be? Let's welcome the choir.
to life so that there he might be the Lord of both and the dead and the living. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. None of us live for ourselves. We live for the Lord. We die for the Lord. Can we go back to clap? For the king, Emmanuel. Deacon Emmanuel, is Deacon Emmanuel in the house? Deacon Emmanuel, please. Let's keep clapping. Let's keep clapping. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, it's a privilege to be here and to read a biography of the great child of God. And the biography actually tells us what you find from the year he was born to the year he passed on. So there is a dash. And so you see some of the things that pertains to that dash. I will take my time to read because there's a lot in it. So be patient with me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, when we lose one here, heaven gains. And sometimes it is better to be out of this body to be with the Lord, but God has something for us. That's why we're still here. This is a biography of the late Reverend Jackson Edema Ibo Toyo. He was born on September 22nd. 
in a shaloku, HIFA, a village in Edo land, now under Ovia local government area, been in city Edo state. His father was Toyo, a renowned business tycoon, and the son of the Fiwagwe of the great Ishekuli kingdom. His mother, Laju, was from Malaysia and Idanri in present day, the Laje of Fondo State. As a boy, the young Jackson was sent to live with his older sister, Iwari, to attend school. However, he stayed, he stayed was short-lived due to unfortunate circumstances, causing him to go back to his parents in Tebu. Returning home afterward, af returning home affected his education as there were no schools in Tebu or his environs. Despite this limiting factor, his profound desire to at least read and write made him learn the alphabets from those who could read in the community. When a school was ultimately founded in nearby Agbokoda in 1942, he was a pioneer student. Indicative of his drive, Jackson Toyo excelled in his schoolwork and was promoted every six months, completing standard four in two years instead of the normal four years. Two years later, in the year 1944, Jackson's education was again disrupted as he was pressured into marriage by his mother and family. He was blessed with 13 biological children for the nine grandchildren, 35 great-grandchildren, one great-great-grandchild, and several non-biological children. A transformation that will define his rest, the rest of his life occurred when he was a young man during his quiet quest to save his dying son, who was affected with a strange illness. He had consulted an oracle, but dissatisfied with a person, but dissatisfied with the with his, with his son's healing, he thought of going to consult a certain prophet. Before doing so, however, I pick up a, a Bible and pray. Opening the Bible, his eyes fell on Matthew 15, 14, which says, Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. This made him reason to himself that he was blind, and the prophet was also blind, and therefore would not have a solution, making him refrain from meeting with the prophet. As a reason, this the spirit nudged him to administer tablets of M and B 760 to his son, who miraculously recovered. At this point, he was convinced that it was God that healed his son, and he felt his strong desire to know more about this God. This is the story of how his Christian journey started, sometimes in 1953. In 1954, some Americans, along with their host, the first general evangelist of the Christ Apostolic Church, Apostle Ayo Babalola, held a great revival service in Sapale, during which mighty miracles took place. Elder Jones, Johnson Toyo, Johnson's older brother, who attended the service and witnessed the miracles, 
Later, I approached Apostle Babalola, who gifted him an old Bible, which he gave to his brother Jackson on his return to Tibu. It was this Bible that he used in discipleship during the word, sharing the word of God. In 1955, Reverend Agbe Jesse Ekokuda, a senior pastor, at that time visited the church in Tibu and told Mr. John Jackson Toyo that some missionaries were sent from America to train people that would teach the new converts from the Sapele Revival Services, encouraging him to undergo the training. He accepted the advice, and those American missionaries, Reverend Ziegler and Reverend Neil, trained him. In 1959, two other missionaries, Reverend Stallwood and Reverend Alcock, came to Sapele and founded the Christ Gospel Church, where Jackson Poirier was later ordained as a pastor. Praise the Lord. Reverend Jackson Poirier was a revivalist and went to different communities, including Oriri, Baten, Gelegele, also known as Lagos Junction, and Ugbegi, organizing crusades and other ministerial work. He served in Christ's gospel church until he got a revelation to pioneer stamped church of Christ. The project he pursued by putting up a church building in Tibu that was launched in 2017. Reverend Jackson Torrio served human humanity in other capacity. At one time, during the military government, he served briefly as a counselor in Benin River. He was chairman of the Parents Teachers Association of the Guinea Grammar School in Bokoda from 1988 to 1991. In East Itebu community, he was known as a record keeper, maintaining records of all important events, birth, death, marriage, and so on in the community. He had a book titled, Where There Is No Doctor, which he used as a guide to administer first aid treatment. Reverend Jackson tore yourself various serves for you served various Olaja, namely Pa Bojo, Akbami, Ofeyeno, Jackson Toyo, Ukunjo Bimaju, Moju, Sobo Toyo, Apostle Moju, and Ashidemiya Moju. Reverend Jackson Toyo was for several years the treasurer and head of the Revenue Committee of the Tebu community until the Joy Shekuri crisis. In the year 2015, he became the head or Laraja of the community, a position he held until the time of his death. As Olaraja, he oversaw community activities, sagaciously passing judgment during his tenure he successfully guided a community to write and abide by a constitution to maintain law and order. Tebu Community Town Hall was renovated. Fiber speed boat with 200 horsepower engine was purchased by the community. He was an industrial man, industrious man who ventured into different trade he had farms, was a fisherman, and a hunter for a hobby. Praise the Lord. Thank you for the time. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. I appreciate it. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. 
You see why I say I want to be like him? Even at 2017, we are in 2022, five years ago, he was still planting churches. Ah! Wow! Congratulations, man. You have a big shoe. Wow. Hallelujah. Some of us have already given up. Some of us don't even go to church anymore. We don't go to mocks anymore. We don't do anything anymore. Sunday has become a vacation day. And they are at that's 90 something years old. Planting church. Can we clap for him again? Wow. You are already tired. Don't get tired at all. You have an inspiration, guys. You have an inspiration. Don't let the legacy die. Don't let it die at all. This is a man not he did not live for himself. Set an example that is very difficult to receive. I pray God we embrace you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mr. Bawo, are you okay? Is that? Are you okay or are you okay? Mr. Bawo. Now, can we clap for him as he comes? Majestically. And come and say one or two, three things. If you want to give a tribute, please see me before we move to the next case. of any of it.
road whenever any of one of us got off the road. This was her final sign. She had been trapped twice with her physical body. Come on, why not a dreadful battle where we somebody in her family tree from her father's side. Ah, think of that being a father from the side who with generations, possibly going for generations, very long gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. We are the research business. On my photo. <laughs> I, I want to see the other side. Say on my photo. Amen. We are the research people. Please speak louder. On my photo. This is B. This is very big. I'm telling you. This is very, very big. It's a big deal. 
13 children, 102 years old, 49 grandchildren. This is big. This is big. In spite of the cultural connection, this is big. This is big. What I'm trying to tell us is that we are here for a celebration of God's name. This is big. Many people want it like this. They cannot have it like this. So if you have it like this, celebrate the goodness of God. On a quarrel. There's no many there. Every secret people are becoming Americanized. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> they can't say anything anyway. There's somebody in our midst tonight who will be giving an exhortation. I didn't mention earlier that I'm the pastor of this assembly by God's grace. We have some humble servants in the entire. Some of them have been pastor even probably before I was born. But with their humbleness and humility, they came to this church to summit. You know, you know we'll be there that we are doing the work of God. And together we glorify the name of God. One of them is the one that you saw at the opening prayer, if you are here when we do the opening prayer. Serving diligently in the house of God. And I have the privilege to also call one of them to come up here right now. So if you can join me with clap offering and welcome Pastor Green. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we understand how awesome this opportunity we have today is? To celebrate not just a man, not just a man that lived 102 years, but to celebrate a man that served God all of his life. You know, I, I think that's just admirable. And as I was driving here, I noticed something. I don't know if anybody else saw this, but I looked up in the sky. It was a full moon. God put a spotlight out to let us know that he's receiving one of his own. Amen? Oh, put your hands together and give him some glory in this house. Pray with me, if you will. Father God, I thank you, oh God for this humble opportunity to stand before the sacred desk and more importantly to be able to speak about the life of a man that served you all his life a man that lived 102 years God Father I, I thought 70 was, was an accomplishment I've got 30 more 32 more to go but Father by your grace and by your mercy I believe I will be able to see that. I just pray that I would have the strength to serve you every single day of my life as this mighty man of God has done. Oh God, I thank you for the opportunity. I thank you for the pastor of this church and his first lady. I thank you, oh God, for the ministers and, and all those that serve in the capacity in Dominion Christ Chapel to glorify and edify your name. So, Father, decrease me as you increase. Let the words of my mouth be spoken from you. For, God, I know that only you gave me this word, and I will give it to the people as you gave it to me. And I pray that I could do honor to Reverend Tio. Amen? I want to talk to you briefly tonight about something that we're all experiencing, though, especially the family and friends. I want to talk to you briefly about grief and loss. But then put a dash there because now it's time to celebrate. Oh, come on, somebody, hear me. Some grief, like losing a loved one, can be understood only by those who have walked that dark valley before. You see, you can't understand how people feel, especially in times of grief and in times of death, unless you've been there before. 
I, 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 unfortunately, but for God's grace, I had to walk in it when I lost a child. Amen. So when somebody says to me they lost a child, a piece of my heart, because I walked that, I walked that path. Amen. So a lot of us have not walked for 102 years in this earth. And hopefully some of us will. But there is great hope given in the Bible in Psalms 23 and 4. It says that although we walk through the valley of the shadow, there can be comfort and hope as long as God is with us. As long as God is with us. Do you not think that Reverend Jackson here walked 102 years by himself? He walked because God was with him. He walked because the hand of God was guiding him. He walked because he believed in the man of God. He believed the word of God and he lived it. In this day and age, for someone to live to be 102 years old is a miracle. Amen? But to be 102 years old and being standing on the wall, hand on that gospel plow and never letting go, that's a mighty thing to talk about. So he, but God doesn't spare us from grief and loss. Not in this life. But he does help us through it. And ultimately, he helps us overcome it. And he does that for all eternity. So my message tonight is, it's okay to grieve. It's okay to feel the loss of, of this mighty man of God. But remember one thing. In John chapter 11, verse 35, what happened? Jesus wept. Did you hear what I said? Jesus wept. And don't deny your loss. Experiencing great grief is the result of having great love for the loss. You see, if you're feeling really bad, that means that you were really cared about this man. If your grief is strong, that means that you were with him, yet you've been around him, that you were touched by him. His words, just that great grief that we feel sometimes. And it, what it does is it's the same as the tears of Jesus that he had for Lazarus. But what happened? Those were tears of death, tears of tears of grief and loss. But what happened? Lazarus rose again. Amen? It is important to allow ourselves to grieve. It really is. But there comes a time for grieving to end. You can't stay in that situation forever. You can't wallow in grief forever. You can't long for the loss forever. There comes a time when it all ends. You do this by serving God. And you serve others with all the energy and enthusiasm that you can muster. You want to know how to live 102 years old? I can guarantee, I've never met the man. But I can guarantee you that he served not just God, but if you listen to his, his, his biography, he served people too. See, God will honor that. You serve, you, we can serve God all day long. We can come into temple and we can come into edifice and we can praise and we can run around and we can scream. But God says the apple of God's eye are the people. You serve the people. God will honor that. And he is a living, living testimony to that. And when you start serving the people, amen, then you can begin to find healing for your grief and the loss. See, as a Christian, you have the comfort of knowing that you will be with God forever in a place where all grief will be gone forever. Amen? I mean, do we agree with that? Well, let me hear you say something. Losing a loved one always brings pain. The great writer C.S. Lewis said, pain was God's megaphone for getting the attention of a deaf world. When God puts pain on us, what do we normally do, especially as Christians? We start paying more attention to the word of God. We start looking for the word man of God. We start praying to the God. It's God's way of getting our attention. 
has he gotten your attention? Recognizing and, exp and expressing that pain is not wrong or sinful, but rather it's a healthy expression of how God created us. He gave us that emotion. And not only did he give it to us, his son who came and died for us expressed that emotion. Amen? So the question is, how can God help me to survive life losses? Psalms 147 and 3, New Living says, he heals the brokenhearted, binding up their wounds. Psalms 30, 11 through 12, NLT, you have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy. Hallelujah. That I might sing praises to you and not be silent. Oh, Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Can we give him some thanks right now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In times of loss, God fills us with his blessing. He fills us with comfort. He fills us with love. And he fills us with mercy. In time, this leads us back to thanksgiving. Amen? Joy and songs of praise, which is why we are here today. Knowing that when we cry out in our pain, in our grief, in our loss, we know God will pull us closer to him. Amen? So I come to tell you, it's time to celebrate. You see, the reverend did not live a dull life. He lived a life of service. He lived a life of caring. He lived a life of love. So it's time to celebrate the life that the man lived. In addition to feeling God's comfort and remembering his promises, the Bible gives hope for the future. An eternal life in God's presence. God says he will always, he will never leave us nor forsake us. If we seek him, we will find him. If we ask, it will be given unto us. If we knock, the door will be open. Amen. He will not leave us. And as I'm about to take my seat, let me share this with you. Because of his sacrifice, now, when I'm saying his sacrifice, I'm talking about God, but I'm also talking about Reverend Jackson. Because of his sacrifice for the family, there is hope. Amen? Hope for a future, a future filled with God's goodness, hope for life with him in heaven, hope for loving one another, hope that all bad things will go away, hope that we will be able to stand united and honor the life of the Reverend Jackson Toyo. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Pastor Brent. I will ask the family to please march forward right here. So this is a moment to honor the family. I'm missing somebody on the keyboard. Are you missing anybody on the keyboard? No? Okay, you're all done. You, you missed you on the keyboard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Welcome, sir. I'm all right, sir. Please, can you, yes, be on your, I don't want to give you Praise time. Praise God. Please give him the chance to. Hallelujah. Amen. This man is a good man. I don't use words lightly. When I met him, he changed everything about me. I was two years old when my dad passed away. So I didn't really know anything about the toy of man. I was raised by my mom, my stepdad, my dad. My mom died. But every day my mom would say, you came from a great family. My mom is from a royal family, she reared me, but 
He said, you came from a dirty land, but you need to go see your, your dad people. So one day, he took me to see one of my uncles, and uh, he was a mayor of uh, Warren County, local government. And the experience was not too good. So because of that, I said, no, I can't go. So every day, my mom would tell me, she said, go see Reverend Jackson Troy. That's your dad, younger brother. Go see him. I said, no, because of that experience, I refuse to go see any of the Troy family. Even I changed my name, last name. But after my high school, when I was about to go to college, I decided, my mom keep on pushing me. So I decided to go see my uncle. So I traveled to the village. The very moment I stepped inside his home, and I say, Papa, I am Israel, son. He broke down and cried. He said, I've been praying to God, looking for you, because I know that Israel has a son. That experience changed everything I did. He brought me in, make me feel part of the Troy family. I can't say much about him. This is a good man, and I will miss him. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. This is testimony right here. Your testimony. This is a seed that somebody planted. What seed are you planting? are they going to say when it's your turn? Something to think about. What are they going to say when it's your turn? When we gather or they gather like this for you, what are they going to say? That is what it's all about. That's what it's all about. You cannot just come and go just like that. Ask somebody. Make a difference in the life of let somebody miss you because of your gift, of your sacrifices to him. We are talking about him not because it was convenient for him. No. Not for him. The most convenient thing in life is to be selfish. That's the most inconvenient thing in life. To be selfish. Just everything is you, 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 you. Not to care about anyone else. You pay a lot of price. A lot. And that is why you are here. That is why I'm here. Some funeral are done in the hiding. Yes. I've been there. They call for funeral on Monday morning at 10 a.m. But there's nobody to call. And you are so a part of some people's body are just buried like that. Like a chicken. No family. Nobody to call. We are all writing our script. Either they read it for you while you are present for the funeral. I'm not here to take your time. I just want you to know that God is good. Yeah, God is good. Don't let it be all about you. You are not here for that purpose. For everyone that makes history, it's not about them. They sacrifice their lives so that other lives can be better. Some of us can not even sacrifice for our own lives. The one you saw, mm. talking less of it. He has Jesus, which is the greatest commandment. To love God. Love God. Love God. Love God. Can we please welcome Sister Ruth and the family into the front, please? We clap offering. Let's cheer them up. Pastor Graham mentioned that it's okay to grieve. And he did declare from Psalm 34, verse 18, that the Lord is near to the broken hearted and he saved the cross killer. This is our assignment tonight. I kindly be on your feet.
Pastor Green, please come. Uh, if you are pastor in the house, please approach the front. Deacon in the house, approach the front. Please, uh, Deacon David, please come to the front, please. Uh, if you are Deacon in the house, please. We're going to pray for them. That the God will strengthen them in the times of their transition. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please, let's approach them. Let's approach them. Surround them. Let's surround them. If you get more of us, you can join hands and be unit some in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What we are praying for is the grace to go through successfully in the name of Jesus Christ. That as they grieve, they will not stay in their grief. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, their past will not possess them. In the name of Jesus Christ, that God that gives joy will give joy unto them. The minister, please go ahead and pray. Pray in the mighty name of the audience. Please pray for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you wish for, when is your time to be in the position where they are now? Whatever you wish for, I want you to wish them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kings of kings and the Lord of lords, these are your children. You are the only one that has the power to heal the broken heart. They are broken because they love their father and their grandfather so much. They are broken because it's not with them anymore. But we know you that you are God that has the power to bind. You are the one that has the power to comfort. My Lord and my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we commit them into your hand. The Lord comfort them in the name of Jesus Christ. You are God that gives joy. Mighty Father, we pray tonight in the name of Jesus Christ that I stain their sorrow with joy in the name of Jesus. Kings of kings and the Lord of lords, you are one that give man power to move on, to move on of every bad situation. Mighty Father, give them the power to move on in the name of Jesus. Above for my Lord and my Father, hide them under your wing. In the name of Jesus Christ, do not let arrow that flies by day or the terror of the night, do not let them come near them. In the name of Jesus, kings of kings and the Lord of lords, I'm asking tonight, the fire like a shield that you form around human beings and do not let their enemy to have power over them. Kings of kings and the Lord of lords, surround them with your fire like a shield. In the name, let your name be glorified in their life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are God that made provision. Made provision for them. That at the end of the day, mighty Father, this celebration of life will be to the glory and honor of your name alone. Thank you, everlasting Father. Glory and honor unto your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Hallelujah. Thank you, ministers. Thank you. Uh, please remain stay here. Uh, the minister can go. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. Thank you. I want the offering basket right here. It's going to be our next one. The choir, please, let's get ourselves ready. If you can have somebody who can uh, sing security, uh, so please, uh, line the language, you can please come up and just give us something to dance with. This is what we do here at Dominion Christ Chapel. We bless the people that have breathed. This costs money. Even they bringing us together like this costs a lot of money. And we need your support. My challenge to you is that your minimum giving should be $100. That is my challenge to you. I mean, what I'm saying is that you can give 1000 And if you want to look like a Nigerian, I mean, you're a Obama. Okay, if you want to <laughs> behave like a Nigerian man, right? You can just come and write in thousands, in thousands. So uh, take your, get your checkbook ready. You are making the check not to the church, not to the church. Make the check to Odumo, Odumo. Just make out Odumo, check to Odumo. If you are giving cash, you come and drop it. And we are going to dance. And as we dance, 
then you congratulate them, give them a hug. So it means you are not permitted to stay in your seat even if you don't have anything to give. You are going to write your check tomorrow. Right, so uh, you are not permitted to sit. Everybody will come around. If you can't dance, walk. Right, but who will be dancing here because we are celebrating life? So take out your checkbook. I'm going to take my time. Write as many zeros as possible. When you write one, then you put as many zeros as possible. If you want to sponsor the whole thing, it costs money to go to Nigeria. They'll be going to Nigeria next week. It costs money. I know some of you have given before already. It doesn't matter. You can give again. Give again and give again. Give again and give again. So get your check ready. I, I hope those who are sitting down, they are writing their checks. If you have finished writing your check, please be on your feet. If you have finished writing your check, you are blessing the family. That is why you are part of your assignment tonight. That is why you are here. You are blessing the family, not the church. If you want to bless us as a church, come tomorrow at 10 a.m. Our service tomorrow, tomorrow is 10 a.m. If you want to bless us as a church. So, but for this very moment, is for the family. The church will not take a dime out of it. Once we finish, we will take the basket and we hand over to them. And they will sort it out. So, uh, if you are finished writing your check, many people are still sitting. It means you are writing your check. But if you are finished writing your check, please be on your feet. And you can leave your check blank if you don't know who to make it out to. A big check. Be check. If you need an ATM, there's an ATM. Oh, okay. Ruth Odumo, there's a cash app. They make it easier. Can, can the technical crew please help me out? Please take your time. This is very important to me. This is very, very important to me. Uh, take your time. Uh, can you type 703 867 uh, technical crew? Is Jacob there? 703-867-9442. For some of us who do not have any cars with us, hallelujah, there's a sale. That number I'm calling out, are you writing it down? 703-867-9442. 703, please, can we project that on the board? I'm not going to sit down until you project it. 70, oh, hallelujah. Oh, okay. Please, the number is right here. 703-867. Uh, this is too many numbers. No, no, okay. They, they, put their, they put their dot at the wrong place. 703-867-9442. That is for sale. So me and you have no excuse. And they have a cash app too. There's, uh, uh, what is it? Dollar sign. What, uh, what is it called? Dollar sign, root, odumo. Dollar sign, root, odumo. I'm not the castle person. I don't even know how it's doing. Dollar sign, root, odumo. Odumo is spelled O-D-U-M-U. O-D-U-M-U. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready? Unto the Lord be the glory. The usher will direct you. The Lord, yes, be yes the be, moving. Glory. Be, be moving your staff. Great things he has done unto the Lord. Unto the Lord, be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord.
Hallelujah. 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 You can have your seat majestically in the presence of the Almighty God. I want to have your seat so you can gather some energy before we go for the second round and the third round and the fourth round. Are you ready? Today is Saturday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right from here, we have a reception for you. We call it blue room. Once you get out of the door, uh, before you exit, you make a left. And the blue room is there. We are going to play Shakiri song over there. Uh, for some of you that have become too much America, meet us at Blue Room. You see the dress, the men that wear something like a skirt. My wife is Edo. Uh -huh. So I have one of those. <laughs> it's the best thing you can wear as a man. <laughs> so free. Hallelujah. <laughs> there is nothing like culture. This is how I dress, even on Sunday. I have to represent I'm an African man. <laughs> it's the most free thing you can ever wear. I don't have to worry about tie. I don't have to worry about shirt. Free, I get it on and free, 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 free. <laughs> Just trying to uh, change the mood. God is good. God is good. So we're going to start the next party over there. But before we go, I want to invite Sister Ruth. Sister Ruth, please. Can we clap, clap as she comes? Yeah, please come. You want your children? The children, can you follow her, please? At least. Let everybody know that she has children. Come on. <laughs> And I'll come with your handkerchief so that if she cries, okay, she cries. <laughs> That's not going to cry. Can we clap for her? <laughs> Shekiri family and my friends. Thank you all for everything. Okay, could you give me the flute for my dad? Um, I'll just flip what I have. Ulai, we love you dearly. Bye. And see you up now. Drive this Jeep to be with the Lord. We still love you dearly. Okay, see you go. I still believe you are my guiding angel. As you drive, all you do. I strongly believe and remember all that you taught us as children growing up. You always do the right thing to be honest and to be responsible for your action and most importantly to believe in the Lord and worship him as our savior and to ask for forgiveness if need be. These are the things that have shaped my life to this day. It makes perfect sense to, to me to see you practice all to practice that all you all your life. I'm sorry. Papa I thank you for that. Though we cannot see again, you, 
you left us peaceful memory. You are always us at our side. Your prayer has given me strength, hope, peace, and comfort. You will never be forgotten. We hold you close within our heart. And there you will remain to walk and guide us all through our life until we meet again. Christ, amen. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Can we clap our hands? Now that. I have my dad so long. My mom died 30 something years ago. So he was everything to me. Thank you. Can we clap louder to the glory of God? And we have Dr. Mike Please. Thank you. Mayo. Can we clap as we can? I hope you forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, on behalf of Sister Ruth, Ama Ogunu, we would like to take this opportunity to thank the church, thank all the pastors, the family present, the guests present, the friends, the choir, and the instruments, but also to thank you for all your calls visits, gifts, words of comfort. These are very much appreciated. So although it's a great loss to the family, as you've heard all through the evening, it is also a night of celebration. Reverend Jackie Kuoyo is an educator, a man of God, a hardworking man, community leader, and as you can see, he lived a fruitful life, even in his old age. So I think the challenge for all of us is to see what will you be doing when you are 95? That is really the challenge. So what will you do at 95? Will you be opening a community church? Will you be a leader in your community? So, Sister Emma, we appreciate you sharing this great testimony with us. So, we are here to celebrate with you, but it's also a great testimony and a challenge to all of us. And we hope that his legacy lives on in his children and his grandchildren. You know, he is going to have a big shoe to fill. The community will miss him tremendously. Because he was still serving the community, even until the last minute. You know, not a lot of us are fortunate to be in great health, even at young ages. So we are hopeful that we all leave here tonight saying, let us, as the pastors challenged us, we should serve the community. God will bless all of us with good health and great intellect at a hundred so we can continue to have a great life. Again, Sister Emma would like to say a very big thank you to everyone here present. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Do you guys hear the prophecy? Do you? Many of us miss it, right? You say, what will you be doing at 95? That's a prophecy. You are not paying attention. That's the prophecy. The moment he said it, he's, he's, he's assumed that you are going to be 95. Yeah. When people 
people are sleeping, once they stand to be paying attention, you never know who God is going to use. Yes. So we're going to bring the service of tonight to a close. Uh, choir, please get ready. Maybe after we share the grace, uh, share the effort, maybe I can have some kind of dance of a song. I love to celebrate the goodness of the Almighty God. So we celebrate the goodness of the Almighty God from here. We are going to share. So if you can please be on your feet as we share the grace, we celebrate the mighty God. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity you gave all of us. Yes, right? For the grace born with us through and on you. Give all the glory and honor to you. Jesus, the mighty God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Yes. Surely, God, goodness, and mercies have followed you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God give you power to dominate your world. God bless you. God bless you. We see you at the blue room. Fire, please.
Encore, encore, encore. 